Good morning, this is Ray with OP Noobs with Maciek Wanchny, Head of Process and Project Management for Techland Publishing. We're here to talk about Dying Light, exciting DLC content coming out. We just saw a demo on it. It's gruesome, it's gory, it's gorgeous. The lighting, the assets, everything is very rich. Thank you for joining us. Hello, good morning. How has E3 been so far? E3 is great, every year it's great. Thank you for being here. This is the first year that they've admitted the public, is that correct, in a while? Yes, it is. And it's, it's, you can tell that it's a lot more people and there's a lot more people that love games here. And you're one of those people that love games? Uh, more or less. <laughs> so, and that's, that's something that shows when we talk to Techland is game developers that are gamers themselves. And specifically with Dying Light, you've got an a, a, a aggressive, would you say aggressive timetable for the next 12 months? Uh, challenging, I would say. Not maybe aggressive, but challenging. A challenging timetable for the next 12 months will be 10 new DLC packages or drops released. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? The scheduling, the, where you're going to pull the ideas from and how you're going to head up that process? Yeah, you said something very important. An important part of it is that we will work with the community. So we don't want to come up with the ideas just like by ourselves. We want to work very close with the community and get the ideas from the community as well. So yes, aggressive or very challenging, uh, very challenging process ahead of us. But what we want to do is that we want to drop every month, so to say, maybe even more, uh, more frequent uh, drops of content, basically a DLC. Uh, and we want to try it out. So to say, we drop the f number one, we wait for the feedback, we'll regroup, we will reprioritize, and we drop another, co and then we will continue looping that, uh, that way forward. Are you going to be dropping the DLC in sort of related threads where you'll be doing a bunch of weapons, you'll be doing a bunch of missions, you'll be doing, or are you going to be just, what, what is the high level outline for that process? Uh, we will extend the game, that's the bottom line. And we will do it in few parallel activities. First, we will deliver new maps, we will deliver new quests, but we will do it in different loops. On one hand, we will deliver new opponents, new zombies, maybe based on the old map, and then we'll extend a new map with new features and so on. So it's going to be different. It's not going to be continuously growing, but maybe a bigger DLC and then smaller DLC following it while we develop the bigger one in the meantime. Uh, we might be supporting ourselves with external uh, companies helping out to build the map. So it's going to be all, all mixed up. But basically the idea is that we will deliver what we said we will. Absolutely. That's the bottom line. And when you're talking about listening to the players, we're talking about more than 10 million players. So this person presumably has a lot of ears and speaks every language on the planet. How is the international aspect of development and community outreach going? Do you find better reception or resonance in certain markets for this genre? I mean, internet doesn't have borders. You know? That's uh, that's the bottom line. Uh, we beautiful. have that's beautiful. <laughs> we have uh, we have people working for Techland are international themselves, and we are looking at internet itself. So for us, a fan doesn't have a, a code name. So you don't see a country. Uh, we do see countries in a certain behaviors and patterns for the players, but in fact, uh, a fan is a fan, and we have to treat all the same. And we listen to the fan, if it's a single player from a country X, or if it's one million, we will listen to them the same way. And we, that's why our social media is living, and that's why it's so hot. Yeah. Those are excellent points, and it touches back on the earlier interview we had uh, with Mr. Borgen about listening to the, to the community and the, the attention to detail and quality. When is, uh, so Dying Light is already out. The first DLC is going to drop uh, early July. That's going to be uh, something next that we month? announced. Yeah, it's next month. We're already in development, so we're preparing it. We just want to combine it with a few more uh, interesting items and we'll drop it. It's going to be followed with a small teaser every single time and we'll bring in a, a kind of a whole thread of a story into this. But now it's going to be a spoiler. So your next year is already booked up? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> is your wife okay with that? Uh, that's uh, something that I would like to avoid answering. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Wanshney. This has been a, 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 an amazing experience with Techland Publishing this morning. High quality games that are already out, coming out, and going to be out Q1 next year uh, for farming. This has been Ray with E3 in Los Angeles 2013. Sorry, Ray with OP Noobs. Thank you, Mr. Wanshney. Thank you very much.